Peace and love to the world. I know it's been a while. It's been a crazy journey coming back from Austria and now being home in New York City. Um, this is your boy Zoe on episode 12 of Conversation with Zoe titled Freshman Year. You know, a lot of things about freshman year revolve around balance, you know, and time management, you know, take care of business. You're going to turn up, you're going, you shouldn't be drinking, but you're going to be drinking, you're going to party. Thursday, Thursday, while I Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday is football season. Like, there's always a reason to be around alcohol and other people. But just know that that work comes first. You know, get your work done. You know, go to the library. Like, the party's not going nowhere if you stay on top of what you have to stay on top of. College is a different bro game, especially if you're going away to college. You don't have someone on your back saying, get up and go to school. You have to have that willpower to get up and handle your business every day because you're an adult. You're in between the ages of 17 and 19, around there. You got to get up. You got to set your alarm. You got to go get it. Of course, there's going to be days we don't go. Like, no one, I don't think anyone gets perfect attendance in college, you know, but you got to handle your business. Not wasting your money or someone else's. You know, college isn't free, you know, especially if you get the opportunity to go somewhere for free or an athletic scholarship, academic scholarship, grants, whatever it is, especially if you're on mommy and daddy's dime, you got to handle business. You know, someone's investing their money into you, you know, and if you're taking loans, yes, they may come out a little high, but that's just an investment in yourself. And that's OK. Credits. Pay attention to those credits. Make sure everything is aligned. You know, you should be taking 15 credits a semester. Every school is a little different, but however many you need to graduate in four years, because you want to graduate in four, and we'll talk about that fifth year, you've got to divide that per semester, and that's how many you should be taking per semester. Some semesters you might have to take five or six, you know, but hey, everything's a sacrifice, and you're capable of many things. For every reason you have, that you can't do something, God has 10 more. That why you can. You know what I'm saying? You're way capable. You know, loans, FAFSA, all of those things. Be careful with those things. Pay attention. Keep records. You know, emails, anything, any conversation you have regarding financials. Because now we're talking business. Now we're talking money. Now we're talking money that you're paying and have to pay back. With these people who aren't giving refunds, you know, like, oh, yeah, we overcharge you. You know what I'm saying? Like, pay attention. You know, because it's very, very important. Your work ethic and consistency. Um, as my mother says, you know, I didn't give birth to twins. So you can't always hold yourself up waiting for the next person to catch up. If you see yourself getting a little chubby, go hit that treadmill. Go for a run. Go to the gym. But don't say, oh, I didn't go because he didn't go. You know, because then at the end of the semester, you know, or, or it's, I mean... Many of my friends can tell you themselves, I didn't do a fifth year. I had no intentions on doing a fifth year. I got a fourth flat. You know what I'm saying? And I graduated with more credits than I needed. When you waiting for that next person and they doing what they need to do and you left behind because you was waiting for them but they're not waiting for you, it's your name on that diploma. So make sure you take care of that business. You know what I'm saying? That's important. And that fifth year, remember that fifth year is not free. You know what I'm saying? So that's another semester or another year that you got to go pay for that. Or your parents got to go pay for that. And in the long run, that's money you paying back anyway if you're taking out loans. Taking care of business. Have a great, safe, and healthy freshman year. You know, if things get a little too hectic for you, go home. Um, seek counseling. Always talk about things. I know it could be a little bit of a stress and a burden with finals week, uh, midterms, all of these things. But these are all things that you're all capable of doing. And just staying on track, staying on pace, watching you grow into the young adult. If you ever need any advice, you reach out to me. Please comment, uh, DM me, whatever it is. However you want to get in contact with me, I'm here to help, and I'm here to make sure you grow. Peace and love to the world. Have a great freshman year.